in this jar is little cute little macaroons, right? But inside of each macaroon, there is a name of a place, so a store specifically. Whatever store that I have in this macaroon that I open up will be the store that I have to go to. And I have to do my nails with whatever I can find in that store. So I'm in for my first pick. Shake it up real good. I don't know, something's telling me the one at the bottom here. Let's just see what it actually is. Looks like we got to go to Wally World. I don't know about y'all Walmart's nail section, but mine is never stocked up on nail stuff. It's always bare bones. So this is what we got. This is what we're looking at. But they always stay stocked up on that kiss though. Like look at the kiss <laughs> section. And then look at the press on nail and everything else. It's bare. We, I don't even want no press on nails at this point. I'm going to get a kiss kit. This one is an acrylic kit. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. It was $10. We're going to drop that in the cart and see what we can come up with. So here is the kit right here, and it is a French acrylic sculpture kit by Kiss. I used to use this heavily as a beginner. So we have clear acrylic powder, acrylic liquid, which is monomer, nail glue, an acrylic brush, a little baby one. And then we got some tips down here with the file and a little cuticle pusher. Now here's the tips. Now we can either go French or we can just go natural and paint over it and do a little nail design or whatever. But honestly, these French are really giving me early 2000s vibes. And I haven't done a early 2000s set in so long and it's making me want to do it. So uh, we might as well go ahead and do it. Oh, okay. Back where you belong. Go ahead and put this tip. Ooh, put this tip on. I know y'all saw that that nail glue just just come out so fast. Slow down. All right, so go ahead and put that there, and we instantly got a French nail. We gonna make this a little shorter. Let's take some notches off. Whoa, that was wide. Just about that much. Let's see how far that gets me. Oh, that's that's good. That's a good length, right? I'm gonna go ahead and foul, foul, foul. Uh, that free edge. Oh, I almost want to give it that hard curve. If you know, you know. So just like a nice little curve in the middle. Whoa. Ah! How y'all do this? I don't know, we gonna keep that going. I like that. I'm gonna put my mask on because now we got the monomer. And this one is a little stronger than I would like or prefer. Whew. This stuff gives me headaches. Y'all know I'm doing this because I love y'all. This is honestly my first time in a long time doing acrylic. I don't think I have done acrylic in like a year. Turn it just a little bit. Mm, I'm gonna place it right here. Let me see. Okay. It's like riding a bike. And just push it up towards the cuticle, and then we can bring it down and blend it right on in. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm about to cut it. You just gonna drill down these little sides. Ah! I'm 
All right, now just gotta buff it out. Look how straight that French line is. You can't get no straighter than that. Okay, so I really wanted to have like that pinky translucent look at the top, if you know, you know, but I'm just gonna take some red and mix it in with some top coat to create that shade that I'm trying to get. And then we can come back with a brush with some acetone. And then I'm gonna cure that gel that's at the top. See, see, now we're talking. But we're not quite done yet. So I'm thinking cheetah print or zebra print. Let's try zebra. I don't even know the right way to do zebra print. Mm, okay. But on this one, I'm thinking more of a cheetah print vibe. the glitter. The French line. Top coat. And we are done. Look at that. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Number one, the zebra isn't a zebra. I don't know what I was doing. I didn't even try to look at a reference picture of a zebra print when I did that. So I know that's off. But rate it in the comments down below and stay tuned for next week for the next store I go to. Make sure you have on your post notifications for tomorrow's video so you know when it's posted. And I will see you guys tomorrow.